In recent years, we've heard a lot about the effects of climate change. What is perhaps difficult to understand is how agriculture and livestock contribute to global warming until now. Life on Earth is possible due to the right combination of very precise factors, such as distance from the sun and the presence of water and carbon. The atmosphere that covers the planet is one of those key factors that make life on Earth possible. The atmosphere captures rays coming from the sun, thus reducing their intensity and maintaining an average temperature on the planet. This natural phenomenon is known as the greenhouse effect, Similar to a greenhouse, it regulates temperature and humidity while protecting all living beings from the sun. It is a phenomenon that has allowed life on Earth for millions of years. However, this phenomenon is only beneficial when in balance. Today, intense human activity emits polluting gases that retain heat in the atmosphere, increasing the average temperature of the planet. This causes a chain of reactions that alters the natural cycles of ecosystems and makes life difficult for thousands of living beings. The gases with the greatest warming potential for the atmosphere are carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, all of which are present in emissions generated by agriculture and livestock. Agriculture is the basis of all human societies, however, Given the exponential growth of the population and our accelerated consumption habits, today we produce more than we need, exploiting the land to maximize the production of food and industrial inputs. Overexploitation of soils requires large quantities of chemical fertilizers. The use of nitrogen fertilizers emits an important greenhouse gas, nitrous oxide, which has 300 times the warming potential of carbon dioxide and whose molecules remain in the atmosphere for about 114 years. In addition, the production and transportation of chemical fertilizers and pesticides are major sources of pollution. On the other hand, livestock generates polluting gases. As they digest, farm animals emit methane into the atmosphere. The accumulation of manure from cows and pigs, in particular, is a source of enormous amounts of methane. To meet the modern diet's high demand for meat, we have created an overpopulation of these animals on Earth. As a result, today agriculture and livestock emit one-fifth of the world's greenhouse gases, contributing to the climate change crisis. Despite all this, one thing is certain. Food production cannot stop. Improving practices in agriculture and animal husbandry could be the answer. That is, adapting traditional food production models to take into account the health of our planet. According to the Regeneration Institute, a 10 to 20% transition to regenerative agricultural practices would be enough to reverse climate change. The use of organic fertilizers, the elimination of monocultures, and rotational grazing are some of the regenerative practices available. Clean technologies also provide solutions to reduce the environmental impact of farms. Through them, farmers can harvest and reuse rainwater, improve irrigation systems, and make the most of the resources. Biodigesters, for example, are a great weapon in the fight against climate change because they allow effective waste management. By inserting animal manure into a sealed container, the methane emitted by farms is considerably reduced. Agriculture and livestock farming have been sources of pollutant emissions since their inception, but the amount of land devoted to production was low enough to maintain a balance in the atmosphere. That is why at Sistema Bio we believe that the solution lies in small farms. Land that is distributed among many people who take advantage of it with the interest of preserving it for future generations. Farmland that is dedicated to local food production and practices that take advantage of the Earth's natural cycles. Humans need to produce food, but polar bears need the glacier, caribou need a flowing river, and orangutans need the jungle to raise their young. The Earth's resources are finite and must be sufficient for all species. The fight against climate change is a fight for the life and dignity of all living beings. There is still time to reverse the damage together. Farm by farm, we can change the course of history and heal our planet.
To hear more about the role of agriculture in climate change, subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned.